in this discussion you can see how to create csv file and adding some data into that csv file going to editor and here creating a new python file generate csv dot py and here we are just using a csv package so first of all we have to use like uh, one is a header and another is a common data so i'm just giving you a simple example like student list so first of all we have to add one header part in list of string we have to use as a student name after that we have to use as a marks after that like we have to create one more thing is a list of students and a student having like own marks so student list and here in this case we have to use list of list inside the list view we have to use as a list of string this is for one student like student 1 50 I am just copying this one and the fourth one 60 then after 30 and we are giving 90 this is student third this is student second and this is student fourth again now what we have to do is we have to open like we have to create one instance of the csv file using with open student list.csv and here we have to give a w mode as a write mode along with this student instance and uh, for this instance we have to use in csv library so simply we have to create one uh, stud student instance to execute like to write data inside the stud instance uh, csv dot writer and here we have to register this stud instance and again we have to use like stud dot writer sorry write row and here we have first of all we have to give the headers again student dot write rows here we have to give as a student list that's it once we will run this python file like it will create one student underscore list dot csv file inside csv file you can see inside that file as a header is a student name and marks and after that you can see each row having a incremental data like student one having a 50 student two having a 30, 30 and so on going to terminal and execute this file csv up okay it's created and uh, you can see here student underscore list you can see like this way or if i'm going to in find uh, my location and to double click so like this way you can create csv file this is our header part and this is our student list so based on that you can also do it from your side if you have any doubt please comment below and see you in next video